Yeah. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dogs that I grew beside. All the niggas brown, me, ride or die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Hey y'all, we are in Barcelona. Whew, it has been the longest freaking day. Um, you guys saw, I started my trip. So today is Tuesday and I started my trip on Monday evening from Chicago. Um, I had a first stop in Paris and then I had a connection and then I came to Barcelona and I just made it here. I actually just checked into my hotel and it's like, um, it is 1.25, almost 1.30 Barcelona time, which is like seven or eight hours ahead of Chicago time. Y'all, I am so, 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 so tired. Oh, I'm so tired, but I'm so freaking excited to be here. I'm finally here. I cannot even, I can't even believe it. Um, I'm still trying to like wrap my head around the fact that I just am on a solo trip right now that I really made happen and, and here we are. But anyway, um, let me give you guys a quick room tour because then I'm gonna get dressed because since it's still like midday, I do wanna like go out and enjoy the day, do some shopping, do some walking around. My hotel's in a pretty central area. So there's like lots of room for me to do things. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanna do right now. My suitcases are literally like right here because I just walked into the room. Here's me again. Um, but let me give you guys a quick room tour. So I'm staying at the Le Meridian Barcelona. Um, this is a Marriott hotel and I'm a Marriott Gold member. So I figured like, why not just stay? And I got a free upgrade. So this is like the little, I'll show you guys from this way. This is like the little walkway entrance and there's a bench here, probably just store my suitcases right there. Then the mirror that you just saw. And then if you go into the room, it's like, it's small, but it's in the metro area. So I didn't expect it to be that big. This is the bathroom. We've got a cute little tub right here. Then this nice mirror with like the vanity lighting. And then all the lights are like located out here. So this adds more lights to the ceiling. And then this is just a glass divider between like where the door is um, and with the bathroom. And then obviously all the bathroom stuff. And then if we go into the room, this is what the room is giving. I did get a king size room and I got upgraded to their premium king. Um, again, like it's small, but I think it's really nice. Obviously we got the bed right here, a little extra furniture. Um, and yeah, like the, I feel like the room decorations are really cute. And let's see what the view is giving, probably nothing. Yeah, the view is giving nothing, but that's okay because we're not here for the hotel view. We're here to explore. So this is what the hotel room is looking like. Now I'm for real gonna get dressed and change and like just do a quick wash up and I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, it's like 20 minutes later. It's so dark right here. But it's like 20 minutes later, um, I'm done getting myself together. I just did like a quick little wash up because I felt so dirty after the airport. Um, but now we're gonna head out and go do some shopping. There's a Zara right around the corner from my hotel and then I also wanna do, uh, I wanna go to Loewe. I have on my Loewe sunglasses right now, y'all. And they just work. They Look at this fit, hold on. They work so cute with this outfit that I have on. Like, it's just all black. Let me turn the light on in here. It's a little dark. I don't know that, yeah, that helps a little bit. Like the outfit itself is like pretty plain because I just have on all black and a green jacket, but then the glasses just, they add a pop. It looks so cute. Anyway, um, this is what I'm wearing. And then we're gonna head out and then just enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Probably go get some dinner later. And that's the vibes for today. Massimo Detti, which is like an upscale version of Zara. Y'all, it's hot, like, it's like in the 60s, and I have on a light jacket, but I'm still warm. Also, look at the view. It's so pretty outside. I actually just found this trench coat that I really like that I wanna try on. Ooh, it's dark. Um, but they have some really cute stuff. This is what the store looks like. It's very, like, posh and chic. It's really nice in here. This is the jacket. This is so fire, y'all. Especially with this outfit. This is so cute. Stopped in Diesel and they have another 
fire jacket, y'all. I love coat. This coat is so cute. It's like a mix of a bomber and then like a thick material down here. Diesel is so cute. This store is awesome. Okay, here is the diesel jacket on. Y'all, this is so cute. It's like a bomber. So like it looks kind of similar to this, but this is a, like a deeper shade of green and this one is more of a light color. But the, um, the cloth part is like very similar in color to this, but this is how it looks. I have like a red tint because of these glasses, but this is so cute. So I did end up buying the diesel jacket, as you guys can see right here. Um, and I got the VAT tax refund. I don't know how much the VAT tax was, but um, the girl who was helping me, she was telling me that because I signed up for today, I got 10% off and then I got an additional discount because of the VAT tax. So I think the jacket actually came out to bring being pretty affordable, which is good because like retail, it was 295 euro. Um, so I'll have to see how much it comes out to when I look later on. But y'all, I was saying earlier, first of all, it was hot as hell in that store I was in first but there is like a mango and Zara on literally every corner I wanted to wait until tomorrow because I wanted to do like the more kind of like luxe shopping today but I might as well just stop at Zara because there's literally one on every single corner that I've passed I'm in the Las Ramblas area right now and there's a whole bunch of stores here so next I'm gonna go check out Luebe I'm outside I've been thinking about this bag and I think I'm going to get it. It's the Loewe mini puzzle in blue. She might be coming home with me. So I'm at this tapas restaurant that was highly recommended on TikTok. And so they basically just have like a huge assortment of different types of tapas, which are small types of meals. Gracias. And I think I'm just gonna try a whole bunch of different ones because I'm starving. Okay, the first one I got is just some calamari with lemon. You could use some sauce, but it's not bad. Tienes como una salsa para poner encima. Quieres mayonesa, yuli, salsa brava, lo que quieras. Sí, salsa brava. Here, take back my original rating. The calamari is like it just comes plain, so it's not the best. But you can use some salsa. It's okay. I'll give this like a four out of ten. Um, it's also not crunchy, but it tastes fresh though. It's just not my favorite. For my next one, I got gambas a la plancha, which basically are just seasoned prawns, like they're grilled. These look like they have more potential, so I think this is gonna be pretty good. This is what the full prawn looks like. This is the head and this is the body. This is the part you eat. It smells really good. That was good. Okay, so I finished dinner at La Cervecería Catalana. I think that's how you say it. I think that's what it's called. Um, it was like a solid three out of ten for me and it's not because the food like I think that the tapas that they have are good I think just what I was looking for they probably just didn't have like what I needed um but overall like I think like based on what people's plates look like and like how they were enjoying their food I'm sure it's actually really really good just me like being a pescatarian obviously I can only eat seafood and their seafood options just were my favorite but the service was really good I was able to be seated pretty fast so I'll give that um I'll give them an extra point for that one um, but now since I'm still pretty hungry, I actually just stopped and got some haagen -Dazs. And I'm just sitting outside because it's, the weather is actually really nice right now. Um, it's not, it's not that cold. It's like very, very comfortable. Um, so I'm just going to sit here, eat this ice cream and then 
head back to my hotel. Look at all these people are just out walking. Just chilling. And I actually don't even know what time it is. I think it's it's probably close to like six o'clock right now. Um hold on, let me check. I have not known what time it is all day long. Honestly. Yeah, it's like seven o'clock here. So everything is still pretty booming right now. Um people don't even like eat dinner here until like 8 30, 9 o'clock. So I'm just gonna chill. I'm probably just gonna walk around a little bit so I get to the Christmas lights. Um, because everything just like got lit up and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel Shower and then lay down because you know, I'm freaking exhausted, but so far so good first day in Barcelona has been Fantastic spent a whole bunch of money, but that was part of the reason for the trip. So I'll see you guys in a little bit Y'all this is such a vibe literally like the weather is beautiful, the lights are on in the city, and there's Christmas carols playing in Spanish, like, oh my gosh, this is such a vibe, like, Barcelona is, I don't even know if the camera is doing it justice, y'all, but like, aside from like the honking cars, Barcelona is so beautiful, oh my god, sounds like New York, but I like, I can't believe I waited this long to come, but I'm so grateful that I finally did. This vlog is probably gonna be super long because I'm gonna just be showing y'all everything because I feel like a kid in the candy store, but this city, from what I've seen, the little piece I've seen of it so far is absolutely stunning. And because it's Christmas, like it just makes it that much better. Like, it's amazing. Good morning. It is 8.14, almost 8.15 in the morning. Um, I am tired, 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 y'all. So, I woke up this morning at around 4.30. Um, I, my sleep is, like, totally off now. It, so, 4.30 is around, like, 9, 9.30 Chicago time, like, just right around that time. Um, so I went to sleep around probably, like, 10, so I probably got, like, six-ish hours of sleep. And then I, I fell asleep with the light on, so I think that's what woke me up. But then I couldn't get back to sleep. So I have been up now for four hours. And I am trying to really push myself, which it's a struggle. Um, I'm really trying to force myself not to go back to sleep. Because if I go back to sleep, I know I'm going to be thrown off for like the rest of the time that I'm here. So I'm trying to force myself to stay awake. And then all day long, so I'll probably be yawning and sleepy all day. And then tonight, like really reset my sleep cycle so I can get back in the the groove of sleeping on, on European time. But y'all, I'm, I'm so freaking tired. I'm so, so sleepy. But we're up. Um, we're going to brunch. We, I'm going to brunch later on, um, probably around like 10.30 or so. And then the plan for today is I want to go to the Barcelona Cathedral because I actually do want to do like some sightseeing and learning about the history in addition to all the shopping that I plan to do. So I'll probably do that around 12. What I found yesterday was that like the city seems, at least to me, it seems to like still be lively pretty late. And when I say late, I mean like, I don't know, around like nine or 10, which as a solo traveler, like I probably won't, you know, stay out that late by myself. Um, but I like, when I went to eat dinner yesterday, like it definitely felt like I was eating pretty early, even though it was like around five or six o'clock. Um, so I'm just going to give myself a little bit more time, like I take a, a slow morning for today, but that's the plan. I know I look a mess. So when you guys see me next, I will be all put together and ready for the day. Okay. We're about to head out a little bit later than expected, but I filmed some content and then I have lump phone charge, but here's the fit. I'm wearing the trench coat that I bought yesterday. Um, some cargo pants. We're giving kind of like khaki colored monochrome slash suit outfit. Um, my Loewe bag, cause I was thirsty to wear her. And then these free people sunglasses. And now we're gonna go to brunch. I ain't got a clue, bruh. I said five in the morning. 
just finished up eating brunch at Brunch and Cake. It was actually really good. I was a little bit skeptical about the sandwich, um, but it was vegetarian, so the middle of it was filled with like tofu, onions, guac. It was, it was honestly so, so good. The only thing I didn't like was that because of the sauce, the bread got kind of soggy, but otherwise it was delicious and the service was great. Um, now I am walking towards the cathedral up this really pretty street, like all cobblestone and with the pretty buildings and everything. And as you guys can hear, like the church bells are going off because it's 12 o'clock right now, but yep, that's our next stop. It's going to take a tour of La Catedral de Barcelona. Just finished up at La Catedral. I didn't talk too much in there just because I wanted to be like respectful of everyone else. Um, but now I'm just walking around like in the plaza right in front of the cathedral. There's a cathedral right there. Um, it's over there. And then they have like these little Christmas markets. Look at these cute little baby clothes. But they have these little Christmas markets out here which are really nice. I'm pretty sure like, I said this in the last clip, but like all of this stuff lights up at night. So it probably looks really cool but that was honestly like one of the most beautiful places i've ever seen it was um very old and historic but like even like walking up there like the old architecture the um the cobblestone like i felt like i was walking in a history book which was really really cool um so now i am just kind of walking around the area I'm probably gonna go to Boqueria Market, even though I'm not very hungry. Um, it's in this general area, and I do want to go and check it out. So that's probably where I'm gonna go next after I leave from here. Try to be fine, but I can't be The noise in my mind what it gave me Try to get by, but I'm burning I'm behind, my mind is right All these thoughts I'm troubling Trying to give up Okay, I came and sat at one of like, the kioscos in La Boqueria and I just got a salmon with some patatas bravas that I'm really excited for. You know, I'm not even that hungry because I ate a couple hours ago. I wanted to make sure like I got something to eat while I'm here, so I'll show y'all in a second what it looks like. But I'm with everybody else's place and it looked good, so I'm excited. Okay, this is what the salmon is giving. This looks so freaking good. I'm so excited to try it. So good. Super fresh too. That is amazing. That was the perfect little like energy booster right there. And my feet were hurting, so I sat down for about like 30, probably 35 minutes. And now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I can take on the rest of the day. So I sat down at like a kiosco or like a like a restaurant inside of La Boqueria and it was really good. So I had that salmon that you guys saw and it wasn't like the most seasoned salmon I've ever had, but it was super fresh and it was, I think tender is the right word, where it like falls off the bone. It was very, very tender and the service was 10 out of 10. The people were very nice. Um, so it was good. Like it was, it was really good. And I think I paid about um, like 16 euros for that little lunch, which I feel like is not bad for a lunch where they had other tapas that were like smaller plates that were less i just um i just wanted something a little bit bigger than the tapa plates that they had but everything was so good and i'm really glad that i stopped in there like they had as you guys saw lots of different types of kioscos like they had lots of fruit um tons of sweets 
a lot, like a lot of raw meat for, for sale. Um, they, I didn't see that they had like that many like fish options. Like they had like raw fish that you could buy and then take home with you. Not a lot of like fish that you could, um, that you could just like eat on the spot, which is why I just sat down and get something. Cause I knew obviously I'm not gonna eat anything with meat in it. So that was really good and it was really cool in there. So if you guys are ever in Barcelona, definitely make sure you check that out. And now I'm actually walking past my hotel right now. Um, and I'm going to do some more shopping for the rest of the afternoon. It's like four o'clock almost. And since I just ate, I probably will wait until like eight o'clock again to eat. Um, I want to go to this place, another seafood place where they have paella. But yeah, that's the plan. I never showed my hotel from the outside, but here it is. It's the Le Meridian. It is gorgeous, as you guys can see. This is like the corner where the restaurant is, and then the hotel entrance is like down this street. But yeah, if you're thinking about coming to Barcelona, I would definitely recommend this hotel. It's like right by Las Ramblas. Literally, La Boqueria is down the street. So this is a great like super central location. update um those shoes that i saw in jimmy Choo, fire and i ended up getting them treat yourself you know but um right now i'm actually scurrying back to the hotel because when i was in jimmy Choo, i was looking at my bag and i noticed that there was like a little bit of like a a chipping on it which was like really really weird so i decided to exchange it and go get the receipt so now i am walking back to my hotel because I just went into the store and they were like, yeah, you gotta have the receipt. Of course, I don't have it. So I'm quickly walking back towards my hotel. I'm going to get the receipt and then I'm going to um, exchange the bag because I don't want to buy a defective bag, you know? And it's not like... Also like... I think that one was just made badly because it wasn't like messed up anywhere else. It was literally just that one spot where it was messed up. So I am just going to run back, get the receipt and exchange this bag real quick and then I was gonna wait until later on to have dinner but honestly since I'm out right now I'll probably what I'll probably do is um do the exchange and then just go sit down and eat something because I don't feel like coming out again okay update since we last talked um I went to the web got the bag situation figured out y'all I was so embarrassed because I went in the store and I went to sit down and I went and literally sat on a piece of art. Like the lady was like, no, you can't sit here, that's a piece of art. And I was like, what the fuck? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I'll be so embarrassed. But anyway, um, I made it to dinner. I'm eating at La Barca de Salamanca, which is like a seafood restaurant that I'm really excited for. Um, I am going to get some seafood paella. And oh my gosh, I'm so sweet. I'm so excited for this food right now. So I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. So here's the baia. Looks delicious. It actually came in this bigger pan, um, but the waiter just served me this plate. I don't know how I'm gonna finish all this, but it looks so good. It's dark, so you guys probably can't see that well, but um, the restaurant I came to, I guess this is right, well, it is right by the water because there's boats, but that's the restaurant. You can't see the name from here. It's called, again, La Barca de Salamanca. And then this is like all the boats. Um, I think the cruises are like actually further down this little coastline area but it's really nice over here um it was about like a 10 or so minute drive from where i'm staying at the hotel so like honestly not even bad okay so let's talk about dinner first of all that was a freaking amazing like i i was really tired i mean i'm still really tired i'm not at the hotel yet but y'all know that i'm really tired and 
when I had to go back to the little Webby store, I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna try and like grab some paella like somewhere like around my hotel because I'm sure that there's plenty of places around here that has that have paella because we're in Spain. I am so glad that I decided to come out here because that food was 100% worth it. For that paella that I had, I only showed you guys the plate, but it came like in a bigger bowl. That paella was 27 euros. So inexpensive. And then I left a $10 tip because my waiter was fantastic. And he gave me like a whole bunch of free starters, um, a free dessert. So I wanted to leave him a tip because I thought he was, I thought the service was excellent. But yeah, y'all, that, that dinner was so good. I actually ate most of that paella. So I feel like my body mass is like, at least one half seafood and rice right now but it was so bomb now i'm just walking um walking back towards kind of the entrance of where this little area is one because i need to get a taxi back to the hotel and then two because um, i just need to walk off some of that food because it was really really heavy um, but like in a good way. I don't regret eating it at all. So yeah, I'm trying to find a taxi right now. One more thing that I forgot to mention as I'm walking, getting Ubers here is actually really, really difficult. I feel like, um, I would say that this is definitely more of a taxi city. Like getting an Uber at the airport was a challenge. And then I tried to get an Uber today to the restaurant and it kept saying like 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away, three minutes away, 20 minutes away, couldn't connect. So Finally, I just like hailed down a cab, a, a, cab a taxi cab like you do in New York City. But keep that in mind if you wanna come here that the prices for taxi and Uber are very, very similar, like cents apart, but Uber is really hard. So I honestly would just rely on either the public transportation or just taking a, a taxi cab. Hey, you guys, good morning. Today is, I think today's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Um, I was in such a rush this morning because I actually woke up a little bit late, which was a good thing because I got to sleep in for a while. Um, but today we are at La Sagrada Familia. I'm going to take a tour right now. I just got out of a cab. Didn't even get to show you guys what I'm wearing, but I just have on like a white top and then my leather jacket from Aritzia. I'm so excited. I just showed you guys like, hopefully you just saw like what it looks like from the outside and it is so beautiful. So we're going to head inside right now, do this tour for like an hour. And yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. just finished up at La Sagrada Familia and it was so gorgeous. First of all, oh my God, there's so many pigeons out here. But if you come to Barcelona, first of all, you have to visit La Sagrada Familia. It's just fantastic. But if you go, I would recommend doing a guided tour. I did the one in Spanish, but they have it available in like tons of other languages. You just learn so much about like the history and the detail of everything that's available inside of the building. And I feel like I learned so much really cool information that I probably wouldn't have learned if I didn't do the guided tour. And it's only like 25 to 30 euros and I think it's 100% worth the price. The tour guide was amazing. They just give you like little headphones and you just follow along for about an hour. Um, and they talk you through the full exterior, the interior of the building, the history, like the architecture, everything. So I would definitely, definitely recommend it. But now I am on my way to go get something to eat. It's about 12.15, so I'm gonna go and get some brunch. And then later in the afternoon, I have a ticket to go to the, I think it's pronounced Park Guell, G-U-E-L-L, -L. I don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go grab something to eat. Breakfast was pretty, well, breakfast slash brunch uh, was pretty good. I just had like a egg and cheese burrito at that little cafe and some guava juice. That was really, really good. Honestly, I should have got another one, but now I am just walking to the park. It's, it was like a 35 minute walk away from where I was and I was gonna taxi, but I'm early. It's only like 1.30 right now and the tour's not until 2.30. And I decided like, why not just get some exercise and like walk off the food. I'm about 25 minutes away, just kind of taking my time 
walking through some neighborhoods that I haven't seen yet. I would say like over here, it's like pretty residential with like some small businesses, but not like over by Las Ramblas or like by the hotel where it's like tons of big shopping and stuff like that. But this is nice. It's like a quiet little area. So Whew, I'm out of breath. So yeah, we're taking this little stroll over there and then our next stop will be at the park. The jacket had to come off. So I said I wanted to do exercise and walk up here, which I do not regret. However, this entire walk is completely uphill and I was not expecting that. I am so hot and it's like, it's not warm out here. It's probably, well, I mean, it's warm-ish, but it's not like it's like tank top weather, but I have on a leather jacket. So I started sweating y'all, uh-uh. Whew, and I had to stop and get some water too. But this is like steep uphill. So just keep that in mind if you try to go up here. It is an uphill walk. After a mile and a half journey uphill, we made it to the park. Um, the idea to walk, I definitely give it like a 10 out of 10. You know, great for burning calories. Execution, a solid two. Because right at the end, like you have to go up some stairs to get here. And y'all, I... I thought it was over for me. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. But anyway, now I have just come into the park. This actually kind of reminds me like, it reminds me of like Central Park a little bit, but like with Spanish style architecture built in between. And it, it feels like it's like more intentional in terms of like how the park is, is set up with like all the different types of architecture. So I'll show you guys in a second, but it's pretty big. I think it's like at least a mile long. So I'll probably, you know, walk around here for at least an hour um, before I head back to the hotel. and. I will definitely be taking a taxi. I am not walking back. Um, but yeah, y'all, we made it. The steepness of the Spanish streets starts to take me out, but we're here. So there's all these little like areas in the park that have different structures. So I'm just walking down these like cobblestone stairs and trying not to fall. And you can see like there's columns with like a little tunnel that you can walk through underneath here. And this is just the entrance of the park. So there's a lot more. my life has been made because I'm in the spot where they filmed the Cheetah Girls. I, this is my childhood. The Cheetah Girls 2 in Barcelona is one of my favorite movies and this is where they filmed it. They did the dance and everything like on these little seats right here. This is an iconic spot. I mean it's iconic because it's a you know national park in Barcelona but it's iconic because Raven, uh, I, I know their names from the movie, um, Aqua, Galleria, Dorinda, who's I always forget uh, Sabrina's name in the movie. But anyway, the point is, they filmed it right here and I have made it, y'all. I made it! It's so loud in here, but I stopped at this place called Europa Cafe just because I wanted to sit down and like grab something quick to eat. Um, I have a little while until my dinner reservation. It is currently five o'clock. I'm probably not gonna eat until eight. But this place is really cute. Um, the hot chocolate is not what I expected, so I'm probably not gonna finish it, but I'm just probably gonna sit here and chill, like let my feet rest, charge my phone and stuff. Um, and then I'll be off to dinner later on. So I ordered a hot chocolate. You guys, this is literally melted chocolate. It is so thick. I don't even know if you can really tell, but like this is the most thick and rich hot chocolate I've ever had in my entire life. On my way to dinner, just left from that cafe, which was really cute on the inside. Um, tonight I am going to dinner at a restaurant called La Selva, which is like a jungle themed place where they do like um, like steaks that you can grill and stuff like that. I don't eat steak, but you know, that's where we're going. So it's about a 10 minute walk away. So that's where we're headed. Bonbon de pistacho, bonbon de chocolate, El lemon pie del merengue y limón, tres chocolates con galleta de oreo, tiramisu, 
baklava con helado de vainilla, es un postre turco. Cremoso de crocante con arándanos, ricota de pera, cremoso de turrón y el carrot cake de zanahoria y nueces. Mm. El turrón es un postre español que se hace en Christmas Days. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? ¿Y cómo se llama usted? Amate, a servirle, con gusto. <laughs> Muchas gracias. I'm sure I put the rating on the screen, y'all, but that tuna tartar was easily the best tuna tartar I've ever had in my entire life. Like, 20 out of 10, it was so effing good. And then the salmon that I had, it was pretty good. It was like the noodles um, were really good, but it made the dish a little bit oily. So I give that like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. And again, keep in mind that like, the food seasoning is a little bit different here. So if it's like your first time, maybe having some of the food the way that they cook it, you might think it's kind of bland, but it's really, really fresh, which, is, which makes it still really good. Um, and so now, even though I said I was tired and I said I wasn't gonna do this, I am taking the 20 minute walk back to my hotel because I like to just walk off my food after I eat, especially if I feel like it's, it's heavy. Um, and I feel like that's how people stay in shape, low key, is because they be walking after they eat. And so that's what I'm trying to do. It's really, it's a little loud, so I hope you guys can hear me. Um, but it's really nice outside. It's, the weather's really nice. And I feel like safe walking right now because there's still a lot of people out. It's not like the streets are just completely like desolate and empty. So I don't mind walking back to the hotel. So I've got about 20 minutes left as you guys can see right here. But yeah, I can't even begin to describe like truly how good that tuna tartare was. Like, oh my gosh. And then the waiter at the end, he was so sweet. So he saw me that I was um, filming my food. So, you know, I'm trying to get like a little bit more comfortable, like just vlogging and like having my camera out. Um, so he saw me filming my food and he asked me if I was like an artist or anything. And I said, no, that I have a YouTube channel where I post like travel videos and other content and stuff. And so he actually asked me for my YouTube channel and he brought out like a little cart card and he was like, hey, can you put your channel on here? And then um, before I left, he was like, can I show like the desserts in your video and can I be in it? And I was like, of course. So he went through like, I know it was in Spanish, but he went through all the different kinds of desserts and he was so freaking sweet. Like just, it was a great experience. Like the ambiance in the restaurant is really, really cool. It's like a jungle themed restaurant. Um, and the food is really good. So if you guys are in, in Barcelona, definitely check it out. They have two different locations, um, but they serve the same thing. So I would definitely recommend it. But anyway, since I am crossing the street, I'm gonna put my camera away for a second and I'll talk to you guys back at the hotel. Good morning, y'all. Today is Friday. It is my last full day here in Barcelona, which I'm so sad about. Um, but I just got dressed. It's about 10.30 right now, and I'm gonna head out this morning. We don't really have solidified plans today because I didn't really make any plans for today, so we're just gonna go in with the vibes, gonna do like some shopping for um, people so I can bring home some souvenirs and gifts and stuff. But here's the fit for today. Um, I'm kind of going with like a tomboy type of outfit. Just wanna be comfortable walking around today. So we're going to head out. up at Casa Batio that's how you say it and it was a really cool like immersive experience um, it takes you through every level of the home and then the iPad that they have like 3d is not the right word but it shows you like images of what um, like digital renderings of what the house actually looked like or would have looked like but it was so cool like they talked about how like Gaudi like um, designed the home to be like very reminiscent of like the ocean and like aquatics and things like that so that's why you saw like a lot of like turtles and like water images which was cool the one thing i will say is like it's a lot of stairs there was at least 10 flights of stairs because the house is super tall so if you come visit just kind of keep that in mind that it's a lot of walking upstairs but it was absolutely beautiful and i got a little picture of me on the balcony um so yeah it was it was nice i spent about like an hour or so in there the tickets are to do like the full experience of like the they call it the gold experience i paid about 50 euros for it so it was kind of expensive but 
you know, when will I ever be back in Spain, you know, to do something like that? I don't know. So I figured it was just worth the money to do it, but it is also a beautiful day outside. It's like 70 degrees. It's really warm, super sunny. So we're just gonna keep on walking. I need to stop to get something to eat because I'm pretty hungry, but I want to do a little bit of shopping. I need to pick up some gifts for some people. So that's what we're doing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm about to buy my dream bag. Dream bag, dream bag. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. OMG, 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 OMG! I got it, bag secured. I was gonna wait until Paris, but I was really scared that they were not gonna have it in stock because the guy would say they have limited stock of this one in store, so I got it. Hey! Hey y'all, good morning. It is Saturday, it is currently, what time is it? It is 10.30 um, and today is my last day in Barcelona. I'm actually getting ready to go to the airport right now, which I'm so sad about because I have absolutely loved every minute of being in Barcelona. I'm just like going around the hotel room, making sure I got everything um, that I have all my stuff, of course. I told myself I was gonna repack last night and then I waited until this morning to do it, so go figure. Um, but yeah, I'm just making sure I have everything and then I'm getting ready to get out of here because my flight doesn't leave until close to three o'clock, but since it's Christmas Eve, I feel like the airport is gonna be OD in terms of like lines and everything. So I'm just trying to get out of here early so that I don't get caught up. But it's been an amazing, amazing time in Barcelona. I'll have to come back and do like a like my thoughts overall as a solo travel traveler in Barcelona but overall like I felt very very safe I felt comfortable here like part of that is that I could speak is that I can speak Spanish so that made me feel a little bit better um but like tons of people spoke English here like people were very nice very welcoming so I feel like being a solo traveler and as a woman it was great experience so I'm sad to leave but I will definitely be back one day but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my trip here and if you did drop a comment below drop a like let me know if you've been here before we can talk about your experiences too so i want to go ahead and get out of here make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you liked this video and i'll see y'all next time and catch you in paris